a young fan obsessed with heavy metal shot and killed former Pandora guitarist, Dimebag, Daryl Abbott, and three other people during a show by Damage Plan, Abbott's latest band. The tragedy took place on the evening of December 8 at the All Rosa Villa nightclub in Columbus, Ohio. The shooter, Nathan Gale, 25, was killed by a Columbus police officer minutes after the violence erupted. A stocky former Marine, Gale was reportedly upset that Pantera had broken up last year and may have blamed Abbott for the band's acrimonious split. The deaths came on the 24th anniversary of the murder of John Lennon. The other victims were 23-year-old fan Nathan Bray, Damai Plan crew member Jeff Mayhem Thompson, 40, and club employee Aaron A. Health, 29. Abbott, 38, was known as an expressive guitarist who brought the fluid dynamics of Eddie Van Halen's technique to Pantera's much harder power groove thrash. One of the 90s' most uncompromising metal acts, Pantera were also one of the most successful. During its 18-year career, the band sold more than 7 million records, according to SoundScan. 1994's Far Beyond Driven entered the charts at number one and sold 1.4 million copies. Four bands were on the bill at the All Rosa Villa, and about 250 people, paying around $8 per ticket, had shown up, well short of the venue's capacity of 600. Members of a local group, Volume Dealer, one of the opening acts, dressed in combat fatigues. Another local opener was named 12 Gage. In the chilly darkness, Gale had been hanging out in the club's parking lot while the music pounded inside. A construction worker from Marysville, Ohio, a blue-collar suburb 25 miles northwest of Columbus, Gale stood 6 feet 3 and weighed more than 250 pounds. He wore thick glasses and a Columbus Blue Jackets hockey jersey over a hooded sweatshirt. Hey man, why aren't you watching the show? A fan asked him. I don't want to see no shitty local bands, he said. You can at least go inside and stay warm. No, man, Gale said. I'm gonna wait for DMA plan. Club manager Rick Cotella pegged Gale as a harmless hanger-on. One without a ticket. He was just a crazy fan trying to talk to members of the band, Cotella said. One of my guys who helps to set up the bands eventually told him to leave. Instead, as DMA plan took the stage, Gale jumped a six-foot-high fence and rushed into the club through a side door. Walking swiftly past pool tables, a bar, and the sound booth, he reached the left side of the stage. Witnesses thought Gale, whose head was shaved, wanted to stage dive. It was about 90 seconds into the first song of the set, Damai Plan's new single, New Found Power. The dude was way determined, said Billy Payne, the singer for Volume Dealer, who saw Gale enter the club. He was on a mission. He looked angry. He was walking like he was going into battle. On stage, Gale drew a Beretta 9mm handgun and headed straight for Abbott. Joe Dameron, bass player for Volume Dealer, thought Gale shouted something about Pantera, but he wasn't sure. With the feedback, I didn't hear what he said, Dameron said. I saw him open his mouth to yell something, but I don't know what it was. He just looked determined. Gale shot Abbott, who was headbanging, his hair in his face, at least once in the forehead. Dime was doing his thing, said Aaron Benner, a fan who was standing nearby. He gets really into it, so he was blindsided. Cotella, who was tending bar, thought firecrackers had gone off. Others figured the speakers had popped or somebody had fired a cap gun. I thought they were playing a big gimmick, said Ryan Melker, who was working security. People were pumping their fists, thinking it was a hoax. Cotella kept pouring drinks. The music stopped. Drummer Vinny Abbott, Daryl's brother, stood up behind his kit. Abbott's guitar began to emit feedback in a high-pitched shriek. A security guard tackled Gale, who continued to shoot into the crowd. One bullet grazed the arm of a volume dealer roadie, Travis Burnett, a burly former soldier who dropped his beer and ran toward the stage to try and disarm the shooter. I asked him, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Burnett said. He was like, get out of here, get away. As I went to grab him, he shot at me. The bullet went through my shirt and I didn't even feel it. Daryl Abbott lay on the stage, bleeding from his head. While most fans fled, one concert goer, Mindy Reese, a registered nurse from Columbus, rushed forward. I said, fuck this, I'm a nurse, said Reese. He needs help. I did chest compressions for 15 to 20 minutes. I kept saying, 
Dimebag, come on, come on, please, stay with me. Abbott was near death by the time paramedics arrived. From the backstage area, Officer James Nigemeyer appeared, carrying a 12-gauge Remington shotgun. He walked past a stack of amplifiers and saw Gail, who had taken a male hostage. Holding his gun to the unidentified man's head, Gail began moving toward the rear of the club. From 20 feet away, Nigemeyer fired once, killing Gail. Nathan Gale, according to people in Marysville, was troubled, but not prone to violence. He enlisted in the Marines in 2002 but left the Corps, for as yet unknown reasons, 18 months later. He worked on construction sites, in an oil chain shop, Minute Lube, and as a landscaper. Gale also played offensive guard for Lima Thunder, a local semi-pro football team. On the team bus, Gale could often be found with his headphones on, listening to Pandora. On November 17, at 3.20 a.m., police arrested Gale for driving with a suspended license. By then, friends told the Columbus Dispatch, Gale had changed, he began talking and laughing to himself. He told a friend that Pantra had stolen his songs and that he was going to sue them. Lucas Bender, manager of Bears Den Tattoo in Marysville, across the street from Gale's house, said Gale was a frequent visitor. He got a tattoo on his right or left forearm a big custom design tribal," said Bender. He also got his ear pierced about a week or two ago. He came in on a daily basis. I tried to keep him away from the clientele. He kind of gave everyone a weird impression. Bender said Gale told him he'd left the Marines due to mental problems, was taking medication and may have been bipolar. Nathan was infatuated with guitarists, said Bender. One or to two artists plays guitar, and Nathan started trying to hang out with him. As police officers and detectives flooded the Alrosa Villa on December 8, Vinnie Abbott escaped into the damaged plan tour bus. He climbed into Dimebag's bunk and wept. Damaged plan loved us, lamented Billy Payne, the volume dealer singer. They told us to stay after the show, they were going to talk to us and have drinks with us. It was a local band's dream maybe coming true, turned into a nightmare. Thanks for watching. Music Mad. Please like, share, and subscribe.